Здраво, аз съм Тони Китановски. Добре дойдете в Скопия, моят град. Hi, I'm Tony Kitanovsky. Welcome to my hometown of Skopje. Tony Kitanovsky, a renowned jazz guitarist and composer, is getting ready to introduce us to the cultural richness of Skopje. We are now in the old town. There is a lot of craftsmen, a lot of strange noises, and I do use them sometimes in music. The rhythm of uh, blacksmith and coppersmiths. Tony Kitanovsky's world beat music has made a remarkable breakthrough in European music capitals, and Tony has also collaborated with many great musicians, including Greg Hopkins' big band. We are in the very center of the city, on top of a hill, with this ancient fortress. This multi-layered historical structure of the city is a basis for inspiration for me as an artist, as it is for many artists that come from this city. So at the very gateway of the old town here in Skopje, first you get hit by these colors, these traditional carpets called Kilin. Of course, all these colors and shapes are embedded in me. You know, generations of people that lived before me for centuries here saw the same designs and same colors. So I think everyone should pick something for himself. But my choice would be this one. The former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia was granted EU candidate status in December 2005. Recently, its capital city, Skopje, has undergone a major refurbishing of some of its most important sites, and the construction of modern office buildings has added to the vibrant look of the city. Still, it's in the picturesque old part of Skopje where Tony feels most at home. It's called tambora, it's the original instrument from my region. You get two pairs of strings equally tuned, so you can just play two different notes at the same time. In all times, uh, turn of the century, 20th century, if you wanted to buy one of these, you have to bring a whole cow at the farmer's market and sell the cow in order to buy this little thing. Now we're going to meet an old friend of mine, a conceptual designer. Lidia Georgieva. Hello, Lidia. I was born in Skopje, and after 20 years of living in Paris, I think I can define myself as a hybrid artist. Opening and trying on borders may be very important for the so-called Western Europe, because they can learn something from us. This part of Europe has Преку 300 сончеви денови во годината. Thanks to its vibrant musical scene, last few years Skopje has become one of the major regional centers for live music. With that note, I hope to see you soon here in my town, Skopje. Goodbye.